Hello world. Hello YouTube. Hello everybody. Well, look at me. So, we're going to do this this way. I cannot find my tripod. Took my tripod off my camera. You know, put it in my bag because I like to travel with my camera and I cannot find that thing anywhere. So we're going to do this handheld. Tonight's dinner. Tonight's dinner is going to be roast beef salad. Okay, let's have a look. Now right here would be... Intro, produced and directed by this guy. <laughs> All right, what we're going to start with, I'm going to get these started first. So we're going to put mushrooms with butter. Some butter. And since I can't put a lot of butter, and I don't want to put a lot of butter, we'll put some oil. This is corn oil, Mazzola. Okay. And like I always do. Put all the spices you have in the cabinet in. This is garlic. I think I'm going to use real onion since I have real onion. What a treat. Okay. Here's going to be the hard part, but we'll just do it like this. Nice sea salt. Can't use my grinder because I'm holding my camera. That's probably my daughter coming. Good bit of salt. Yeah, that's salt. Okay. And we'll mix it up. Don't buy cheap pans, boys and girls, because they go like this. Look at that. Whee! They spin the pan. <laughs> anyway. So we'll stir them up. Okay, we have our eggs boiled. I'm letting them cool. We're going to put it in. It's kind of like a chef salad, only with just what I'm going to show you. All right, back in a minute for the next part. So, while we're letting all that cook, I'm going to get the dishes ready. There's been a development. Too bad it's in the night. And i got a real vicious looking storm moving in. Trying to get to focus in on these lights. I just went to it. That's the Motel 6 sign. See? I don't know what sign that is. That's the stagecoach sign. I can hear the wind whistling in them wires. Kind of tough. All right. Anyway, now that we've done that. <coughs> By the way, see my Pat's Blue Ribbon sign? Let's do this this way, too. Oh, I got it unplugged. <coughs> Man, life has been a struggle for me lately. Absolute struggle. Isn't that wonderful? I'm selling it. Need parts for my cars. And I looked these up, and man, they are something else. They are something to behold. So I'm going to sell this Path Blue Ribbon sign. Two color, plastic backing, uh, chain drive switch, on off switch. I'm going to sell it for $300. Alright, anyway, back in a minute. Alrighty then, back again. So in our mushroom, sautéed mushrooms, we're going to invest two cans of roast beef. And I say invest because, uh, you know, you don't know if it's going to be good until you eat it, and you might have to throw it away. Now the thing with this is, right, it says 12 ounces, but I probably poured about half of it. Oh yeah, easily half of it in water out. So you figure six to eight ounces of uh, meat. Let's have a look. Whee! Right. Woohoo! 
approval of that storm. Anyway, um, so, you know, eh, you're not getting a whole lot, and I'm going to make a whole head of lettuce because I'm going to be eating on this two or three days. Um, I don't use the water. People think, oh, pour all the water in and boil it off, blah, blah, blah. That water is not a good thing to cook with. So you got to have it drained. Now we're going to pour it in there. Well, let me drain this. What do you want? Right. Pour one in. And video pouring the other one in. And uh, with this, if you're really hungry and you're really counting calories, what I do is I'll set this can in here, right? And that'll melt that old beef fat everything out of that can and get in there. Water, no matter what, no matter how many calories, what you're trying to reach for, it's just not a good idea to, you know. Since we're not doing that today, we'll just go ahead and toss the old can. Then, let that cook a while. And when these warm up, they, they um, separate better. Because like this, you know, I'll be smashing my mushrooms up. Okay, you get the idea. We'll let that cook a while. Be about, uh, you know, around in there. You know, a little less than medium because you don't want to cook your uh, mushrooms into mushrooms. Mush. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so you can have some consistency. Alright, that's that part. Dishes. Back in a minute. Alrighty then, we're back. I had to do the dishes up and get things going on. And with the salad, you know, you can do chores and all that while you're doing doing this. Here's my ingredients. I'm going to use medium cheddar cheese. I'll show you what I do with that. Now when I use my block of cheese, I like to hunk off how much ever I'm going to use. Because I don't like just grading off the whole block because then your hands get all over it and you get moldy cheese that way. So we'll take that much and that much. Sorry, let's get this out of the way. So about that much cheese. Okay, and we'll put this away. I'm going to use a small onion. And because I'm like that and I love eggs, I'm going to use six hard-boiled eggs. Also, well, let's do this trick here. Now in the restaurants, you get your head of lettuce, right? You're not supposed to. I'm going to thin slice it, and I'll show you, you know, at the end result. But what you're not supposed to do is cut lettuce. Because it bruises the, uh, the leaves and this and that. Well, I'm getting this just in time. So we'll get rid of that. There we go. Beautiful. Show you a little restaurant trick. Probably a lot of people know it already. How to deal with your uh, head of lettuce. And get your core out. Where am I here? There we go. All you do is you... Bang it. Reach it. Oh, banged it too hard. Yeah, this lettuce is... That way, you're supposed to be able. <laughs> yep, I messed it up. It's too hard of a core. Did it freeze? That smacked it a little hard. It's a small lettuce. I'm talking to my brother. So, we probably won't be using a lot of this. Anyway, maybe I'll edit that out. Well, no, that's a blooper. I'm supposed to be able to just twist that core out and pull it right out with no problem. But this lettuce has been sitting in the refrigerator a while. 
That's why I'm making it, because I had to make it. There's the core. There wasn't much core to it, actually. I think that's the thing. Beautiful, actually. Look at that. Wonderful. Right, so, we'll chop up the eggs, chop up the lettuce, grate the cheese. Oh, and here's another thing. Take that debacle and move it over. <laughs> I've done a million of those. I guess there's one or two you're not going to be able to get. Do a can opening. Alright, you got me a can of bacon bits in the old mail from a dear friend from Little Bones. We're going to open it. Let's see what we got. Big old number 10 can of bacon bits. There it is. It is open. You know, I put a lot of bacon bits in a lot more things than I had bacon bits. I guess I got bacon bits now. Oh yeah, those are bacon bits. Bacon bits. Nobody can see them. There we go, bacon bits. Let's see. Well, they're bits, and they taste like bacon. Um. I found my tripod, it was in the old sheets of the bed, at the foot of the bed, we won't ask how that got there, but you want to see that video, <laughs> alright, back in a minute with the finished product, so, now we got our ingredients in, Well, I just get it all in the bowl, you know, and then mix it, because I don't want to put one ingredient in, mix it, another ingredient in, mix it, you know, you mix the pea out of it. Right, you got hot ingredients and cold ingredients. Actually, this is Zoe's recipe, she came up with it. You gotta use the back of the knife in the bowl. No, I'm not doing this, I'm using the back. This is dish economy. I don't want to wash a lot of dishes. I just want to finish washing the dang things. Well, there you go. That's doing well. Yeah. Cottage cheese would be nice. Uh, Parmesan, I would put in it if I had it. Avocado would be good, yeah. Right. You know, I don't know what else goofy, you know. It's one of those, you know, back of the shelf recipes, end of the month recipe kind of thing. Where whatever's on the shelf you got left, it goes in the bowl. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever ain't rotten in the refrigerator. You throw in that old burrito. Yeah, that mixed up pretty well. Look at that. Beautifully mixed. Okay. Lucky I got dogs. Yeah. 
Uh huh. No, I didn't know that. I'm talking to my brother on my Bluetooth, guys. Right. Oh, that's right, because I didn't think women could be smart and shit. Kids, those kids that were in that picture with her. Voila, roast beef salad. Oh, hang on. Um, I'm not going to put the bacon bits in it because, you know, it's to taste. There's other things you could do, put in. Like sunflower seeds I like, but that make me kind of ill. Because I ate so many in the army. I ate sunflower seeds so bad that it, I made a, ate them into an allergy. What else? Croutons? Busted up pretzels? What else could go in this bad boy? That you would have at the end of the month. That, you know, <laughs> that you didn't quite eat. We got some peanut butter, we got uh, some hot sauce, we got some taco milk. Coffee creamer, ooh, some icing and jelly. Fettuccine, eh, nah, not fettuccine. What else we got here? Here, let's look. Let's see what's up off in here in Gary's cupboards. We got some gin, we got a Netflix, what is that? Oh, no, nope, jelly. Uh, bouillon cubes, that'd be fun, crunch into one of them. Fettuccine, more jelly. Icing, uh, popcorn. Lentils, I need to learn how to cook lentils, I hear they're pretty good. I make a noodle salad, I do wheat noodles, you know, I might cook some up and throw that in there. You can throw some marshmallows in. What's in here? More popcorn? No, that's noodles. Yep, elbow mat would be fun, wouldn't it? You know, kind of boil a bit in there to, you know, bulk it up. Let's see here. Let's have a look. V8 magis. Tuna? No, nah, not with beef. Surf and turf salad. Oh, that's next time right there. Um, Captain Crunch. Yeah, no. Cornflakes would be interesting, I'll bet. Checks, maybe not. Graham crackers, sweet crackers, and the old... I wonder if they'd go with chicken. If I made that with chicken, canned chicken instead. Mashed potatoes. Nope, that's it. Onions. Cat food. That ain't funny. That might happen. <laughs> Look in the freezer. Making a video, what the hell? This is my cool ass freezer, get it? Oh man, look at that. My freezer freezing. Oh, and broccoli, but it have to be cooked. Brussels sprouts? No, no. Uh, burritos are set now. See, butter now. Hey, breakfast sausage. I that'd be good. We need the chicken patties. Get some of them. Apple juice. I need to make cookies. Sorry, little bones. I will make cookies by God this week. And I will send you cookies. I can't eat it no more. I weigh about too much. We're not going to discuss that specifically. Oh, look at it. I wonder how chili cheese free does it do. Ah. Refrigerator. Huh, turkey, maybe. We already got mushrooms in it. Got eggs. We can pour the jalapeno cheddar Frito dip in. That'd be interesting. Some yogurt. Does yogurt go bad? I mean, bottle of wine. Uh-oh. Bottle of wine. It's on. Okay, we need a ranch. Salsa. I bet you that would be good with, uh, if you did it with chicken. Mayonnaise. Mustard. I like that mustard. Goulden's is good. Well, there it is. Tour of Gary's food. All right, guys. There it is. My roast beef salad. You know, let me know if you, you know, you have ideas of this and that. I'd like to, you know, try them out and see what I can do, what I can manage, and throw into a big old bowl at the end of the month. 
about to choke to death or, you know, croak and die. <laughs> and uh, eat some. End of the month recipe challenge. There you go. All right. Live by your wits, not by your worries. Peace. Bye.